We've been getting in video and pictures from people all across Northern California showing down trees and damage from the storm. Linda Mori sent us these pictures of a big tree that hit part of her house. The massive trunk that uh, tree snapped like a toothpick, as you see there. For many people across Sacramento, it was a long night when the winds never seemed to stop. And when the sun came up, almost every neighborhood, a lot of yards were different. KCRE 3's Mike Carroll spent much of the day with a crew whose job it is to clean it all up. Oh my goodness, we heard the tree go down around 1130 yeah. mm -hmm. and both jumped up immediately. For many people across Sacramento, it was a long, rough and loud night. A restless night and had a whole bunch of kids sleeping in the bed with us. That's when Scott Shaw's phone started ringing. I actually spoke with this homeowner at about two in the morning. I probably had seven or eight more calls, so we'll try to get to those in the can. One of the risks of living in the city of trees and wanting those trees surrounding you. Which was a large reason why we bought the house in the first place. And now we're finding that uh, maybe they're not as cool as we thought. These trees have been pretty dried out lately. So once it starts, when you start getting a lot of rainfall, it, all those branches and foliage will absorb the water, adds extra weight to the trees. And then with that wind, it just recipe for disaster. So this tree actually landed perfectly. I mean, it was parallel with the house, and so it didn't do any damage to the house. Scott Shaw has had his business for 10 years and he's been surprised by how this past year has been. Uh, with all the COVID stuff going on, everybody's at home, so it's a lot of at-home projects. People are noticing a lot more work that they need to do around the house, and so business has been pretty well for us. But Scott still has a lot more storm damage to take care of before he can get back to that. I think we have about seven, seven clients so far already on the books for tomorrow, so it's going to be another busy day. In Sacramento, I'm Mike Carroll, KCRA 3 News. And tree experts say the drought has not affected most of the trees because the roots go down at least four feet where there's plenty of water in the water table.